I grew up on the coast and spending much of my time in the ocean inspired me to learn more about it. And I always knew I wanted to help our oceans and conserve them. I'm Zoe, a marine biologist and project manager for Coral Lab. I truly experienced coral reefs for the first time here in the Maldives, and the reality hit me hard. It was the opposite of the vibrant reef I had imagined. There was basically nothing left of the reef. During this time, I met Aki, the founder of Coral Live. Coral Live's main work is coral restoration using mineral accretion technology. I immediately knew that I wanted to change the focus of my career to help the corals. My wife Ava introduced me to the Maldives in 1987. When we first came to Suneva Fushi, the reef was absolutely unbelievable. It was vibrant and live with coral surrounded by fish. It was the 1998 coral bleaching event when you really started to see the impact on the reefs. The corals died and didn't recover before the next major bleaching event in 2016. With more frequent bleaching events from rising sea temperatures, over 90% of the world's coral reefs are under threat. Coral reefs provide habitat for a quarter of all marine species, coastal protection for communities, and millions of dollars from tourism and recreation. The survival of coral reefs is critical for the Maldives. It is our survival. If we don't change, we will sink, not just as an island, but also as a nation. We've always considered ourselves, Ava and I, as guardians, yes, guardians, not owners, of this place. And we feel that we are here to guard this place for a lifetime and for generations to follow. Nature is resilient and human endeavor and innovation also contribute to conservation efforts. Our goal is to restore the reefs around Suneva Fushi, Suneva Jani, and our other properties in the Maldives by 2030 and to create a diversity of coral that will survive and thrive. We have not given up. This is why we decided to establish one of the world's largest coral nurseries, powered by mineral accretion technology in collaboration with Coral Life. This project is a stepping stone between small-scale and large-scale restoration efforts to save entire reefs. After selecting the right location, we first put 432 metal structures in the water, which we all interconnect with cables to run a small electrical current through them. At the centre of each circle of tables is an anode. The circular formation around the anodes gives us the most efficient electrical distribution to each table. The electricity creates an environment for corals to thrive. We have observed faster growth and increased resilience to stresses causing bleaching events. Now it's time to start populating the nursery. For Suneva Fushi, we are saving coral from a development site, where the corals are destined to be covered by sand and die. The corals are sent to Suneva Fushi, where the rest of the team receives them and places them on the nursery. The whole team is doing amazing work, and seeing everyone working together towards a common goal makes it an empowering, unforgettable experience. opportunities for the future. What else can we do? How big can we go? It's very exciting. I don't think we'll ever be finished, but I think we can always strive to do more.
I never saw coral reefs before the major bleaching events, so it would be incredible to see them coming back to that level, which would be very motivating to keep going, to aim bigger, and to push forward to do more. Thank <laughs> you.